Hey, what's up, guys? Josh here. Um, I saw Alien Covenant last night, and boy, let me tell you. Oh, oh my God. Uh, this video is going to be quick, but it's going to be two sections. Spoiler-free, then a little bit of spoilers. So, I'm going to tell you when I get to the spoilers part, but this is the spoiler-free version. Alien Covenant is a solid 7.5 out of 10. My favorite Alien movie is still going to be Aliens. Then it's going to be Alien Covenant, then Alien. That's my top three ranking. I really don't count the others. Oh, and well, Prometheus is like number four. This movie's probably 25-50% of a Prometheus sequel. Then the rest is like an Alien prequel, if that makes any sense. Um, if you've never seen the Alien movies, you'll have fun with this because it's just normal Alien killing people. Uh, Bloody, gory. You know, if you're kind of, if you're in that kind of thing, you, you you really love this film. I really loved Michael Fassbender's android characters, Walter and David. The movie has strong actors. Um, the deaths are very gruesome. Aliens are very intriguing. Very good setup movie. It's, yes, seven point five out of ten. Go give it a watch. Now for some spoilers. If you're still here, tread carefully. If you've already seen the film, that's cool. I hated how they wrote off Shaw, Elizabeth Shaw from Prometheus. Having her being used in, as an experiment, no, like, he says he loved her, but then he still used her body and possibly just killed her, and this makes no sense. David makes no sense whatsoever. I really, uh, you know, coming off of that, you know, that was really the only Prometheus tied thing there is, Shaw and David, that's it. There's still a lot of unanswered questions like why did engineers want to kill humanity, which some have their own theories about that, but you know, I want a concrete, clear answer. The Neomorphs were a good addition, and the Xenomorph, when it showed up, I feel like it, the Xenomorph wasn't needed. Could have just kept doing Neomorphs? I think, I think the Xenomorph was just put in for fan service, if I'm, beyond, if I'm just being honest, which I wasn't complaining, but it really felt like it was just fan service. I'm not gonna go in full detail with this, but some things by Alien Covenant worked. The big twist at the end with David being Walter um, after their showdown, and he's fool he fooled everybody that I kind of saw it coming earlier on. Then again, you know, I was still hoping Walter would have killed David, but David's a likable character in my eyes because you know you have a good villain when you're rooting for him in some way, but then you're not. You know, I, I feel bad for David, but then again, I don't want him to live, <laughs> if that makes any sense. Alien Covenant, definitely go watch it guys. It's a really good film, and I can't wait for the next installment, Alien Awakening. Here's hoping that we get closer and closer to the moment when Alien picks up. So, here's hoping we get to that moment in the next film or two. Alright guys, if you enjoyed this review, uh, I guess do whatever you want with it, throw it in a garbage can, or uh, beat up a small child in the middle of Parkton, uh, I don't know. Um, I'm possibly going to go back and spelunk around. Freaking douchebag.